and how do you like that doing that with? Um, <clears throat> Caleb shows up and he has a tremendous uh, wide range, catch range, and uh, the ability to really absorb information and knowledge pretty quickly. I think that uh, his coaches at his high school did a great job of preparing him for college and the expectations that are placed on him at a place like Alabama. So um, he's been in the fire um, at, at Carrollton High School. And, and, and this right here is in an environment that's not gonna shake him. So um, he provides some size, some ability to make some 50-50 catches um, down the field, um, but again, he is, he's a sponge out there. He's doing everything in his power uh, to make himself successful in whatever situation we ask him to be in. Here in the middle. What led to your decision to follow Coach DeBoard or from Washington to Alabama? I mean, it's Alabama. I mean, enough said. I mean, what else is there to talk about? It's the University of Alabama. Why are you guys here? <laughs> <laughs> it's Alabama. Matt? Uh, for the players who here at Alabama last year, what have you seen be the most difficult part of installing a new system? Uh, you know what, uh, we pride ourselves on three three different things. One, um, we want to be ball dominant. Um, two, detailed and explosive. Uh, I think these guys have the ability to really be ball dominant and explosive. It's the detail piece of it that uh, they didn't anticipate would be at such a high level with our group, you know, with the passing attack that we had at Washington, a lot of folks just kind of almost consider us to be maybe an air raid team, but we're anything but that. Um, we ask our guys, especially on the perimeter, um, to really do a lot of things and do a lot of things in the run game. Um, uh, we're gonna come across and swipe block defensive ends. Uh, we expect them to really have a full grasp of what everything is required in football and then we run a lot of different schemes in our offense, even some of the things that you saw at Washington. We have other things that are in the, in the playbook that you know come from Coach DeBoer that would allow us to scheme pretty much anything that we see, but it's just we didn't see those things while at Washington. So again, the detail at which what we do things, that's what's probably been the thing that's been most daunting for our players. Mike, I think you mentioned you had family from Uniontown, just kind of the history you know what, I was born and raised in Indiana myself. Uh, certainly my grandmother uh, and all the elders in my family, uh, they're from Uniontown, Alabama. Um, you know what, The most of my history with Uniontown has been coming down here for family reunions and things of that nature. Uh, Tuscaloosa was a place that they used as vacation fun. <laughs> this is where they came and had some fun up here in Tuscaloosa. So um, for me to be here at Alabama is really like a homecoming for myself and my family. Uh, obviously they root, it, they root for me wherever I'm at, but this particular place is truly special and really entrenched in, into the hearts of everybody that I come from. So i um, super excited to really just continue to make them proud. Um, I think that they'll be proud of me anyway, but I hold myself to a, a very high standard and certainly um, I want to make everybody involved in this program proud. Katie. How beneficial is it to have guys like Austin and Parker and Jeremy that came over with y'all to kind of know a little bit of the system already that you're trying to implement here? You know what, there's some small little nuances that come up from time to time <coughs> that you really, every once in a while, even as a coach, you know, you kind of breeze over it, you know, because you know, he's just got guys who've been in the room for two years so they know and understand those small little details. And so to have guys like Jeremy and, and, and Austin in the building and, hey, they pulling the guys to the side and letting them know, hey, this is the expectation. But then also, Jeremy knew what the receivers were getting into. He knew. Um, he knew that I was going to be flying around every day. He knew that I was gonna push them to their limit. He knew that the expectations were gonna be extremely high. And uh, he knew that the, the cost of admittance was going to rise. And um, so he helped, he's helping these guys understand that, hey, our expectations in the, off, in the offense is that we perform at a high level. Kurt? How do you ask Coach, I know it's just a few days, but uh, what are your impressions of Kendrick Law? Kendrick Law. Um, 
I really want to look like him when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he, he physically um, is imposing as a receiver. He has easy speed, as I like to say it. Um, he can go to zero to 100 very rapidly um, without a ton of movement. Um, he is a leader amongst leaders. Uh, that, that's been my biggest impression of Kendrick Law. Um, he's got the guys showing up here at 5 o'clock in the morning um, to do extra work, to watch additional film, to ensure that they know what's going on in the practice. All right, but he's also pulling the group in and talking to them about the things that we need to continue to improve upon. I mean, he's done a great job of coming to me and saying, hey, coach, let me know what we need to do, and I'll make sure it gets done. And uh, he is a leader, and uh, leadership is about influence. It's about how you influence the other ones that are around you. And he's doing a great job of influencing the rest of the players, not just in the receiver room, but the entire team in the right way. Time for a few more. Charlie? Did you have one, Charlie? No, no mic today. No, you don't. Nick, and then Nick. Yeah, as far as having a guy like Kalen, who is an offensive guy at heart and knows the offense, I mean, what is it like to be able to bounce ideas off something? Well, one of the best parts about Caleb is he actually played the receiver position. Um, and so I love that because <laughs> I know that his eyes are going to consistently go on the outside on the perimeter. So it's great to have another set of elite eyes that can see all the little details and nuances just like I see them. Um, we're on one accord. And so honestly, I just, I just love working for a great human being. And of all things, we could talk about how great he knows X's and O's, um, how well he can design plays, and all, the, all those things. I mean, he does it at the highest level. But for us, uh, Nick and I believe that we'd be idiots not to use him in a real way in everything that we do. Because if right now we ask Coach DeBoer to coach the quarterbacks, to coach the running backs, to coach the old line, to coach anything, guess what? He'd be an expert at it an expert. He'd be one of the best in the country. So why would we not utilize him as much as possible to ensure that the offense runs in an elite way? Finish up with Nick Edwards. Yeah. Okay. How does your familiarity with Tuscaloosa in the area help on like the logistics of, you know, moving and like knowing where to eat, kind of getting accustomed to the area when you're not you know, recruiting and coaching and all the other things? No, no, my family's already here. You know, I've made the mistake. A lot of coaches across the country have to make those decisions. Hey, do you move your family right away, take them out of school and try to get them there now? Or do you wait until the semester's over with because of their friends and they're involved in softball, soccer, football, track, whatever it is. And uh, you know what? It's about family. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't coach football just because of the X's and O's. I coach it because of the family environment that I get to create. And part of that is having my players be a part of my family. So I want my I wanted my family to be here right away. So they're here already. And they're already in track and soccer and <laughs> softball. And they're doing all that stuff already and, and immersing themselves in the community right away. So extremely important to me to have my family here right away. I mean, I think it's monumental because it also gives me an opportunity to really focus on what's required and, and the expectations that you guys are gonna have. And rest assured that our expectations will be higher than anything that anybody else can place on us, believe me. Um, but uh, ultimately, all right, we do hear you. Coach, thank you. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you.